Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about assert keyword in Python. Okay, so Python has a built-in keyword called assert and assert will help you to perform many kind of assertion based on your requirement. Okay, so what exactly is assertion is, let's say you want to verify something and you want to make sure that something is working as expected or not, you will be using assertion. Okay, so with the help of assert keyword, you will be able to do all kind of assertions. So let me show you what exactly assert is, how does it work, what is the syntax and when to use and different type of, you know, conditions that you can provide. So if you talk about the syntax, it's very straightforward. Uh, by the way, I have created a dedicated package and I have created a dedicated Python file. So I'm just going to write assert. So assert is a built in keyword. And what exactly assert will do, it will simply take one condition. Okay. If this condition evaluates to true, it will continue with the next set of statement. But if it fails, it is going to throw assertion error. Okay. So in case if you haven't seen my previous video where we discussed about exception handling, then please go ahead and watch because here we will be getting assertion error. So this is one syntax. Another syntax says you can give a condition. And if this condition evaluates to false, then you can also give an optional message here. Okay, so you can just give an optional message here. So this optional message will only come if any uh, condition false. Okay, so let me show you through program. So I will just type assert and purposefully I'm just going to give condition as true okay and I will just make a print statement and I will say buy so definitely this condition is true so it will simply say buy but what if I make it false if assert actually assert accept a condition okay so right now we are not giving condition purposefully I'm giving false so this particular statement is going to throw assertion error and it will stop the program yes and you can see I'm not getting this buy so this is just a syntax. Now syntax says in case you want to give some optional message, you can give this will only come if condition is false. I will say condition failed. So let's run. So you can see it says condition failed, which is nothing but this. It's completely optional, but yeah, it will make more sense if you give the optional message. What if I make it true? Will it print this? No, because this only will give if the condition fails. So let me show you some real examples. Let's say if you're working with Selenium and you want to verify some error messages, you want to verify some help text, you want to verify title, you want to verify URL, anything which you want to verify. So I'm going to use assert now. So let's say uh, I'm going to verify one string. I will say string says Selenium. So I will be using uh, again a separate string selenium is for web automation okay so what exactly this condition will do it will check is selenium present in this particular string which is yes right because selenium is present here so i will just say here print and i will say validation pass validation passed and in case this validation doesn't work i will give comma in double quotes I will say validation failed or you can give the error message is not validated properly or whatever it is depends on your need so as of now since selenium is present it says validation pass but what if I say python here so it will check is python present in this definitely not so let's see what exactly it says first of all it says assertion error then it will also give you validation failed okay so this is just one second one let's do again a second assert i will use one string and i will say i just want to verify two strings okay uh, i will be using let's say str1 here let's say i'm taking python and again i will take a string two and let's say this is also python and i just need to verify whether these two strings are equal or not i will say assert is str1 equal to equal to str2 if yes then i will execute the next set of statement if it fails i will say strings matching field anything 
depends on your requirement as of now i'm just saying string matching field and here i will say validation to passed okay so as of now both are true so it will say validation to pass let me give a space what if i just make it small p will it work let's see the moment i run so you can see first of all it says validation pass which was the first one the second one assertion fail it says string matching fail because of this p so what does it mean it is case sensitive guys okay so just keep this point in mind and this time if i run it will say validation one and validation two passed perfect now let's say i want to verify i just want to assert that some value is present in a list or not so can i use assert with some list let's do that i will just say assert uh let's say i have one thing selenium and i just want to verify into a list let's say i have a list of values i will say selenium i will say python and i will just say one more thing let's say java and i will also give an optional message here in case this fails i will say selenium is not present so if it works i will say validation three pass actually you can make into separate program so i'm just keeping everything into single program as of now this time when i run validation three pass because selenium exists into this list let me just change it to selenium okay actually there's a tool called selenium so in case if you are new you can explore so right now selenium is not present into this list so it says again assertion error selenium is not present and this is the assert that we have added right now i just used list can i use set can i use tuple you can use because assert only expect a condition if this condition is true it will continue if it is false it will just give assertion error let me give one last example that is again very basic but it will make your concepts very clear so let's say uh, i'm importing a math module okay this is this math module we discussed earlier so i just want to print square root okay so if i say square root of 4 let's print we got value as 2 I just want to validate whether the value is equal to 2 or not. So I will say assert math dot square root that's of 4 is equal to equal to 2. If yes, it should continue. The way it should say value is wrong. And if it is working fine, I will say pass. So right now, square root of 4 is 2. So it is working fine. It says pass. But what if I make it 3? Will it fail? Definitely because it's not equal to 2. Okay. So we were expecting 2 but we got 3. So it says value is wrong and assertion error. So very quick video but you are very important because we will be using assert a lot when we work with test automation. We putting we will be putting multiple assert in our program. So just make sure you are familiar with this assert keyword. Yeah, very quick video but very informative. And guys, that's all for this video. In case if you're new then make sure you subscribe this channel, hit the like button, share with your friends. And in case if you have any other question, then let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.